Can you believe that? This is... It's a freaking piece of tape. <laughs> it is incredibly humbling to have a video blow up like my duct tape antenna. And I want to thank anybody who's subscribed and anybody who's watching. Um, it's quite humbling. If you haven't watched the duct tape antenna, it'll be in a link up in over... I. It'll be in a corner or down below in the description. In one of my last episodes, I showed you how to take one of these little barrel connectors for BNC and um, turn it into a pigtail. And somebody on Reddit kind of pointed out that like, uh, why don't you use a bulkhead fitting? <sighs> yeah, so I wasted a lot of people's time. Hopefully a lot of you didn't necessarily go out and buy a bunch of these. They're still useful but there's an easier way. If you buy these B and C bulkhead fittings, it comes with everything you need and you can get rid of the whole sawing and all that other BS that kind of happened while well, in the last episode, I'm sorry. But we're all learning, I'm a rookie. I'm gonna use the rookie as an excuse. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the nut and washer off of this BNC connector and you're going to tin the two ends just so that you can solder to it. Grab some wire and tin it as well and join those guys up. Really important step here. You don't want these things to short out onto each other. So on one of the wires, run some heat shrink over it so it doesn't short out on the other wire. And then after you get a larger heat shrink to put it over top of the entire thing and then shrink it down. If you want links to all of this stuff, it'll be down below. Paul the Lefty asked where I got these magnetic feed points. I made them. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Here. Now it's quite simple. It's just some simple neodymium magnets with a hole in it and a countersink so you can throw an M4 screw and um, after that, it's a crimp connectors. With crimp connections, everybody has those old little thin, gross crimp connector things. Throw those damn things out. Spend a couple of extra bucks. Now I'm gonna show you the Klein pliers that I use are quite expensive, but they are worth every freaking penny. But here's a cheaper alternative. Either of these will make your crimping life 10 times easier. So please just go out and buy them. Again, all the affiliate links and stuff are below. With this, I have some 50 millimeter M4 countersink screws and some nylock nuts that I just screw down. Make sure you don't tighten these too tight. Uh, it doesn't need to be super tight and you can crack the neodymium magnet. After that, you just need the backing magnet and you throw that over top of whatever duct tape antenna that you have and play around in tune. One thing that I've done here is you'll notice the legs on this pigtail are really long. Don't do that. Make them as short as you possibly can because this wire ends up being part of the antenna. Right, short and sweet video today, but um, the next video I'm working on currently, and I'm gonna call it the Flaggy. It's a spin-off of my duct tape antenna. I am going to make a Yagi on a sheet of fabric, or Tyvek in this case, using the same foil tape. And so far, the tests are um, surprising. This is Victor Echo 6, Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray, and I am clearing this channel.